Okay, here we go. This is Tim Shragasi Bros. Part two of the compression test. What you have to do is you have to have a fully charged battery. You should really have a uh, good starter. Whether or not that happens is another matter. Uh, what I've done here is, you know, I have my compression tester. You can get these about anywhere now. Uh, auto parts store, Harbor Freight, online, you name it. Different quality. This one has just a screw in with an O-ring. What you want to do is pull out your spark plug here. Take this, put it somewhere where it's not going to arc. And uh, they say disconnect this. I haven't done that. I'm just trying to be safe with these. Who knows how safe that is. The other thing I've done over there on the fuse panel is number 20. I'll walk over and show you. Number 34 is the magic number. That's the fuel pump. You don't want fuel running through your lines. So if you still have this little puller, pull it out. You could use needle nose, whatever the hell, to get it out. Pop it out. Okay, so what you want to do, take some oil. After you've got this open for a wet compression test, you got to drop it in there. So I'll show you how I did that. Two items right here in my little box of uh, goodies. So what you need to do, this one fits about perfect. Take the funnel, drop it in, and then take a cup. I'd already measured a teaspoon of this little plastic Dixie thing and uh, put a little oil in it. Drop it down and you want a tablespoon. That's what I've been hearing. So that's what I've been doing. All right, now I've got some other issues on this car. I'm gonna take care of a little bit later, as you can see right here. These, these sensors just basically, they fall apart the minute you touch them. This little item right here, this has been basically falling apart as you touch it. So I've got some, you know, Florida sun issues here that I'm gonna be dealing with. We'll so, show you what we get. My compression test for the wet came out 160. That's on the high end of what you want, I believe. So I think we're in good shape. That's it for now, we'll get back to you.